What's up guys? I'm Joey from Awesome Cameras. I'm out here in Joshua Tree National Park. Uh, before I left on this trip, I went through Los Angeles and stopped at Freestyle Photo there and I asked them what kind of film they had that was just kind of weird or different or whatever. And they told me about this Revelog film. Uh, I bought two of them. This one is called Texture. It's what I'm gonna be shooting in this video. And it does kind of just that. It adds the pre uh, expose a certain light pattern or texture or whatever on or light leaks or something onto the film. I believe they have 12 different kinds of film um, with different patterns leaked onto them. So this one, it just gives you a nice uh, organic texture, it says, um, and that'll show up mostly in the shadows. Like if you're doing a double exposure, the first exposure is going to show up more um, in the shadows of the second exposure. So uh, we're gonna be driving around Joshua Tree National Park today and I'm gonna be shooting this in this Olympus XA2, one of my all-time favorite cameras. Nice and small, very simple, fits right in your back pocket. So uh, let's go see what we can get out of this thing. So everything out here has been so far pretty muted, not a lot of contrast in the scenes and it said the effects of this film is gonna show up more in the shadows. So I wanna find some stuff uh, with a little more shadow to it. Like over here, there's a little cave almost behind this plant. I'm gonna get in there and see how the effect comes out because there's a big dark hole under those rocks. Uh, let's see. Also, I think it'll look really cool if this effect shows up in the cracks of these rocks right over here. Joshua Tree, I just want to do wood rat things with my friends. Just got to our campsite for the night. Wait till you see this place. This 
film is rated for 200 ISO. Um, so it's getting a little dark to shoot anymore tonight. My shutter speed on the last shot I took was real slow. You could distinctly hear the like click click. So it was probably a 30th of a second or so. So I'm just gonna stop shooting for the night and we'll bring this bad boy back out in the morning. Uh, we're gonna be exploring a little more of Joshua Tree. So we got up for sunrise, you can see it's happening right over there. Um, what I want to try to do is shoot some of these trees with the sunrise where they're silhouetted. Hopefully the XA2 will do that for me and uh, hopefully that texture will show up in the silhouette of the tree. So the last two shots I took of these trees trying to backlight them, I could hear the shutter speed. It was really slow, probably like a 15th of a second. So what I'm gonna do, I guess, is change the ISO setting on the camera to maybe 800 and that should slow down my shutter. And I don't know how those last ones came out, but they will definitely darken the silhouette of the tree, I'm hoping, and the shutter speed will be faster. Uh, so I won't have motion blur on them if I did on the first two that I just took. Yeah, the shutter click on that one was much faster. I'm feeling way better about that one. Hopefully this tree will be nice and silhouetted. And you can see this texture in the silhouette of the tree. Getting a little rainy here on our way out of the park, but I wanted to get the obligatory welcome sign shot and I think I'm gonna get the lazy days in this one. I think I managed to do that without getting the lens wet on the X-A2, so that's a wrap. See you later. And we're back. All right, guys, um, I had a lot of fun making this one out in Joshua Tree. Always nice to get out and travel. Uh, love seeing new places. Also wanted to try out this Revlog film for a while, just wasn't sure where to do it. I really liked it, had a lot of fun shooting it. I think it's a good, if you have a, a little point and shoot or something you wanna throw in your bag uh, and take with you on a trip or something as kind of a extra camera it's perfect for that um, I don't know that I would bring it as my main camera on a trip like this I was really just personally shooting it as like a little thing on the side here I had some other cameras with me that were my main you know go-to cameras for this trip and I just wanted to test this film out and see what it could do I tried something new with the format of this video if you didn't notice where I kind of come in and give some thoughts or ideas about what I'm doing as I'm doing it uh, while I'm filming uh, let me know what you thought of that. I, I felt that that's something these videos have been lacking and I've been wanting to implement that. So let me know what you thought. Does it help? Does it take you out of the flow of the video as you're watching it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, down below you can find links to see all the photos, high resolution, uh, links to buy the Revlog film, and uh, where to find an XA2 if you're interested in one of those. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to this channel if you're into this sort of stuff. And as always, you can find me at awesomecameras.com.